Hello everyone, myself Paula Mokwana, Assistant Professor of PCT Department at LJ Institute of Technology. A welcome to session of Settled Communication. So from chapter number 6 that is a space segment, we are going to cover what do we mean by transponder and what is wideband receiver. Now, transponder means what? It is a satellite that contains a receiver which will pick up the transmitted signal, amplify it and it translates, translates to its another frequency. Right? So a typical transponder has a wide bandwidth, but it will only use a single frequency, single signal to minimize the interference right? and to provide a more communication lab. Right? So, this is how the transponder will work. It has a receiving antenna, transmitting antenna in between the first block, known as a big panel, mixture, and the power lines there. Alright? First, this receiving antenna will receive the signal. It is going to be applied to the donors and it will reduce the effect of noise and that signal is going to be applied to the mixture. Over here the down conversion or the up conversion will be done and that signal is going to be applied amplified by the power amplifier and it is transmitted by this transmitting antenna. Right? So first, we require the input band pass filter at the transmitting end. Okay. So first, the low noise amplifier is designed to amplify the signals which is received from the power station. The frequency translator or the compressor, which composed of an oscillator and the frequency mixture, which is used to convert the frequency of received signal to the frequency required for the transmitted signal. Right? The output is a bandpass spectrum. It is going to be amplified by the power amplifier. So the uplink signal is designed in such a way that it will transmit the frequency, the signal at a frequency of 60 Hz. So it is received at the satellite and then amplified using the known amplifier. And it is down converted at the 4 gigahertz. So we have used over here which band? There are micro bands are there L, S, C, X. 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8. That means L, S, C. C band is used. Alright? And um, with the help of the microwave amplifiers like traveling with it that we have that we are, that we are going to study in the microwave subject, traveling with you is used to amplify the signal at the micro frequency. Okay? It is going to be amplified by the power amplifier. So the local oscillator frequency of this down converter is 2225 megahertz for the C band. And this signal is transmitted onto the earth lower station. This is how it can be read. Over here the frequency is received around the 5.9 to 6.4 gigahertz. Apply to the band pass filter to a pass specific band. Okay? The wide this will be received the signal and it is going to be applied to the demultiplexer. Why? There is a only one input and multiple outputs are there. With the help of this power gain, the again providing the which uh, how much amount of gain is required, it is going to be applied to the multiplexer. And then whatever the frequency is present, it is a down converted. Okay? It is around 3.7 to 4.2 gigahertz. The input frequency was six, uh, around 6 gigahertz, output is around 4 gigahertz. So it is a C band. Alright. Now, what is the function of this wideband receiver? 
So the primary receiver includes the dependent receiver and the this number of components. This is the dependent receiver consists of the duplicate version of all these components. It is consist it contains a preamplifier, mixture, and then okay. at the input side. It is the output from the filter applied to the preamplifier, which will amplify the signal, and it is going to be applied to the mixture for the dump conversion, and that signal is amplified by the mixture, and it is again applied at the input of the mixer. Alright. Why this duplicate version of wideband receiver is there? Because if any to block is not working, then the signal is going to be processed by this redundant receiver. Alright? Now, as I have discussed the working of wideband receiver, the first stage is known as amplifier. This amplifier will add a little amount of noise to the carrier which is going to be. It also provides sufficient amplification and to override the high noise level. Mixer stage is used for down conversion of the gas. Okay. So the power that from the LO to the mixture is about to 10 million. The oscillator frequency must be a stable okay. and have a low phase noise. The second amplifier will provide the overall gain of about 60 million. So the input V multiplexer, which will separate the broadband input covering the frequency from 3.7 to 4.2 to gigahertz into the transponder frequency channels. So these channels are arranged in the even number and the odd numbers of group. Right, to reduce the adjacent channel interference. So the output from the receiver is fed to the power splitter, which in turn feeds to the two separate chain of circuit. Alright. What is the function of power amplifier? A separate power amplifier provides the output power for each transponder channel. Each power amplifier is preceded by an input attenuator to permit the input drive to each power amplifier. Okay, so it is can be have a fixed fixed section and a variable section. Now, the amplification of power can be done at the high frequency with the help of traveling wave tube amplifier. Okay, so traveling wave tube amplifier has this structure which consists of electron gun then this helix structure or the closed structure in which the helix form coil is there and this is called the collector at which my output is going to be collected over there the magnet is there the microwave signal and the uh, is applied to this input candy and my electron beam is generated by this electron gun and over here in the helix structure there is an interaction of electron beam and this RF signal or the microwave signal will produce the amplification of microwave signal and that signal is going to be collected at the output side. This is how the amplification of the microwaves will be done. Now, the transponder, transponder means what? That means the amplification and the frequency transmission will be done. Means there is no processing of any signal. Right? That means by transmitting antenna, will transmit a signal to the satellite and it is going to be passed through the filters, low noise amplifier. Frequency conversion, input multiplexer, output multiplexer, right? And 
third signal is down converted with the help of this repeater and transmitted to the down leaf earth station or the receiving earth station. Alright? This is the way that how a transparent transponder will translate the signal into the frequency. Alright? There will be a no processing of any kind of signal. So for the processing, we require a regenerative transponder that consists of antenna, lowest amplifier, mixture, demodulator, then the regeneration will be done with the help of area regeneration, which is going to be applied to the modulator. After modulation, high pass for the high power amplifier block and that high power amplified signal is applied to the bypass filter and that current is transmitted by the transmitting data. Okay. So over here we have done what is transponder, what is regenerative transparent, what is a transparent transponder, how it works, how the power amplifier will work. Okay. So you can it ask me. I'm going to be doing it already. Thank you. Thank you for your attention.